Hi, everybody. Uh, I'd like to introduce this week's Paddle Monster newsletter to you. Um, I've got a really exciting newsletter this week. I've worked really hard on a piece all week uh, to get you ready for the canoe events at the Olympics next week in Paris. And it's a comparison on the canoe stroke, the sprint canoe stroke, and the substroke. Uh, they are way more similar than you might think. And so I do uh, three comparisons of top athletes. Um, some of them, most of them, you you know, you know the SUP athletes. Um, we look at Andre Krator uh, in both SUP and canoe because he was a world champion and a European champion in 200 meters C1 before he became um, a medalist at the world championships and the European championships in 200 meters SUP. Uh, we compare Seychelles Webster uh, from the ICF Worlds last year when she won 200 meters and Nevin Harrison, the 2021 Olympic champion in women's C1. And then we compare Michael Booth, who arguably has been the top distance sup paddler uh, over the last several years, the last decade probably. Um, and we look at Sebastian Brendel, who is a two-time Olympic champion in 1,000 meters C1. He's a legend uh, from Germany. And so uh, we compare those two athletes. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping you'll find it really interesting and it'll make uh, your watching the Olympic canoe events much more interesting and enjoyable. Um, for those athletes that are training with us, it's uh, the culminating week of the summer program. It's a recovery week, but there's still some really intense work. Next week, we'll be reverting to work uh, that is more base-oriented as we start the fall program. But I understand that this is a time of year when there are a lot of high-level races still on the horizon. And if you are one of those athletes that's training with us and racing in one of those high-level races... I implore you to please reach out to me in the Coaches Convo and work with me so that I can give you a specialized program that's going to help you meet your needs as well as you possibly can, um, you know, to really optimize your performance. So I'm offering to customize work for you, so please take advantage of that. Um, it's also uh, the start of a new strength training cycle, so you'll find uh, information about the new strength work posted in the newsletter. And then lastly, um, we have recommended reading for those people that are training with us. And this week, uh, the recommended reading is on overspeed training. So we've talked a little bit about sprinting, but the missing ingredient for a lot of people training to go faster in sprints is teaching their body to actually move more quickly. And uh, there are some tricks that you can do to do that, to trick your uh, central nervous system into recruiting your muscles more quickly and and to uh, speed up your movement patterns and so we'll talk about them i think you'll find that really interesting so that's what we've got for this week i hope you've enjoyed week one of the, watching the olympics i know i certainly have and i hope you enjoy week two and i really hope you take time to watch the canoeing events so all the best have a great week happy paddling